With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, they are asking us to show the parts of a fruit with the help of a diagram. So first of all, let's try to understand what this fruit actually is. We can say that in the flowering plants, the fruit is a structure which is formed after the process of sexual reproduction is complete because we know that we have a unit of sexual reproduction known as the flower and we are calling it a unit of reproduction because it contains all the reproductive structures all of the sex organs of the plant so in the flower we are going to see the female sex organ is known as the carpal or the pistil. In this pistil we are going to say that its lower part, its basal part is quite bulged or we can say enlarged or swollen. So this enlarged lower part is known as the ovary and inside the ovary the ovules are enclosed. So the female gamete or the egg we are going to find inside these ovules. So what is the significance of these structures? Significance is that after fertilization this ovule is going to become the seed why because after fertilization the egg which was enclosed inside the ovule has now become fertilized it has now fused with a male gamete and it turns into the embryo so this embryo is enclosed inside the seed and the ovary inside which these ovules were present this is going to develop into a fruit so basically what is a fruit after fertilization, the ripened ovary of the flower becomes the fruit. So, what are we going to find inside the fruit? We will find the embryo, we will find the seed and apart from this, we will find the walls of the ovary enclosing the seed. So, the fruit wall or the pericarp can further be divided into three parts. So, let's see what these three parts of the fruit wall are in this cross section of a fruit. Here, a typical fruit like mango has been shown. So, let's see what the three different layers of the fruit wall are in mango. The outermost layer is the epicarp, which is actually the peel of the mango. And it is not necessary that it is thin like this or it has the same structure in all of the fruits. But over here, we are observing the thin epicarp of our mango fruit. Then the layer inner to the epicarp is called the mesocarp. In case of the mango fruit, it is fleshy. So the pulp of the mango, the juicy part that we eat, it is actually the mesocarp layer. And finally, we have the endocarp, which is close to the seed. And in case of the mango fruit, it is quite hard. It is very stony type. So these are the three different layers we are going to find in the fruit wall. And finally, inside what do we have? We have the seed where the embryo is enclosed inside a covering known as the seed coat. So, in this diagram, in this cross section of the mango fruit, what can we see? What the different parts of the fruit are? We've got the seed. Here, there's just a single seed in the fruit, but there are many fruits which have large number of seeds. Then we have the fruit wall or the pericarp, which is enclosing this seed, and it is further divided into the three wall layers, outermost epicarp, middle mesocarp, and the inner endocarp. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.